Hello guys, it's musician and composer Gary Cunningham. Today we're going to talk about the top five blind auditions from the most recent uh, series of The Voice UK. The first person to grab my attention and first person to make the list uh, after much deliberation was Sarah Tucker. She did a version of In My Blood and she caught my attention purely because she was she had a really emotive voice. Um, and she just had, I feel like she had the, the crowd in the palm of her hand. And she used her full range as well, a full vocal range. Um, do I think she's going to win? No, I don't think she's a winner. But I do think there is some form of, I think she's going to get far. But I think there's going to be a point where someone, obviously, is better than her. Because obviously we're only on week two, I believe, of auditions. So there's still loads of people to get through. Uh, you can watch a preview of Sarah Tucker's audition right now. Number two on the list is Luke Swatman. Luke Swatman was, I was astounded. Do I think this guy can win? Potentially. Purely because of his uniqueness. He's an opera singer. He's got brilliant control. He's got brilliant vocal skill. I mean, I'm not a vocalist per se. Like, that's not my main instrument. But I obviously, I know enough to be able to talk about whether someone's good or not. Uh, and this guy is, is more than good. He's definitely got the potential to win. But... The one thing that might let him down is, is his image, or that might go in his favour. Uh, he's an opera singer, as I said. He drew me in straight away. He's got a unique image that'll either go in his favour or it won't. You can watch Luke Swatman's audition right now. Number three in the list. By the way, this is in no particular order. In case you haven't, in case you've like not gathered that, I haven't decided. I was going to order it, but I decided not to. Number three is Cedric Neal. He done a brilliant, brilliant cover of Stevie Wonder's Higher Ground, which you'll be able to see in a minute. As with all of these, he's got brilliant stage presence, great confidence. He grabbed my attention straight away. The song choice was fantastic, um, and I'm so glad he got a turn. I think he's got a bright future ahead of him, whether he wins the voice or not. But do I think he's a potential winner? Yeah, definitely. I, right now, he's he's my he's my top one to win. But as we as we go through the weeks, we'll probably see what happens. But yeah, Cedric Neal, definitely my favourite so far. You can watch Cedric Neal right now. People. And last but by no means least is uh, the only vocal group that caught my attention, Remember Monday. They did a great version of Kiss From A Rose by Seal. Their harmonies were impeccable. Their chemistry was brilliant. There was obviously confidence there. The song choice was fantastic. Um, I'm excited to see what they do in the future. Will they win? Who knows? I don't... Mm, well, a group hasn't won the voice yet, so potentially. Uh, we'll see. But... You can have a look at what I'm talking about right now. And 
And there we have it, my top five auditions so far from The Voice UK. If you agree, disagree, let me know down in the comments. Like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. There's loads of more content coming this year. Loads of different projects, keys, covers, you know, stage cams, vlogs, all sorts of stuff. Thanks so much for sticking with me and just keep supporting me. It means so much. Thank you so much and I hope you guys have a great 2019.